Hey, welcome back to Blar. We're going to take a look at Get Him Gary. It's an indie game off Steam. It's on sale for 49 cents right now. It's usually $1.99. So if you like old school NES games, like back in the Urban Champion, Donkey Kong days, I think you'd really dig this. So you can map your controller. So you're in West Spring Manor, 1987. So got graphics, you know, like the NES. Where they, uh, what is your enemy? Gary, I guess, is a window window repairman. So you're gonna go fix the window, then you gotta close the shutter so the bombs can't explode the window pane again. Of course, you avoid these bombs. Can't fall off the edge, which is nice. That hamburger down there will give you invincibility for a little while. And you're gonna go up. I don't know how many stages it is. I think it's like five or six. Let's see if I can get there. Well, I'll just cut the middle out so you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over again because that's kind of what it is. But it has that like Pac-Man addictive quality. And, you know, you want to get it further and further. Get your score up. For some reason, I forgot that window down there. Go down the pipe. Kind of lead the guy over like to left or right so he'll start dropping items on that side so you can go to the other side and close the windows so it does get a little more difficult with the layouts <clears throat> like right here's a pot of plant in the way that you can't you know of course go over Abilities do change colors, so it's a different level, which is nice. So this is as far as I've got. So. The music gets a little more intense. Oh man, I had that on my foot or something. I uh, get a little bit of invincibility there when you come back to life. life which I just lost. So you see the difficulty does ramp up. I mean, I don't know, yeah.
be occupied over here. to the bottom. So I think we've seen all the enemies there. Right on. There's Get Him Gary. Good game. Okay, for the good, solid gameplay, nice retro graphics, good controls. For the bad, could use some offense. Like Donkey Kong had that hammer and stuff like that. Pac-Man had the power pellets. I mean, it does have the hamburger, but nothing to like really attack that guy that's throwing bomb bombs at you, maybe to knock him off the ledge at the end of the level. Um, gameplay can get repetitive. It's kind of based on that model back in the day of Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, doing the same thing over and over again, a little more difficult each time, but it does it well. So I know I put it on the bad and good because it can be good addictive gameplay, but also can get boring. I give Get Em Gary a 7 out of 10. It's very solid, straightforward game.